Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Gisano fan server. Another spooky. No. No. This is not another spooky episode. Even though I'm in a zombie skin, I'm Zombie J Joda right now. This is not a spooky episode. Anyways, we are here today. Did anyone to say anything in chat? No. Um, we're here today in Shop Town. We're finally gonna complete this shop. Uh, we're finally gonna open it. All that remains is creating a giant open sign right up there. Um, where do I want it? What is this? Password future side of. TBH Enterprise. Stay tuned. I think this is Boo's stuff. I know she was saying something about creating a shop of flowers right here. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I don't know if you guys can hear that airplane passing outside. It's loud. Um. Anyways, we are going to work on the shop. It is noon. So, yeah, let's get this, let's get this shit started. And I meant to have, I almost dropped something. I meant to have something open because, yeah, because, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm professional. Not really. Um, okay. So, today... Today, I'm watching the first game of uh, Blue Jays vs. Texas, the World Series playoff game. Um, so if you hear me yell at my TV for no apparent reason, it's because baseball. <laughs> Just a heads up. Uh, right now, the Jays are winning, so go Jays, go. Uh, we're going to use... Use some of this stone. I don't have glowstone. Well, shit. I have glowstone in my under chest. I need four pieces of glowstone. No. But I could use this book. We will get to that later in the episode. Um, we get to the book. I mean. So, anyways, uh, today we're gonna talk about life. And what's been going on in the magical world of Joda? Note to anyone who's watching, my world is not magical. It is a horrible, horrible experience that no one should experience. So, yeah. But let's talk about the magical world of Joda. So, work has been going good. Um... I really, really love this job that I have, and like, I, I've talked about this so much, but like, the people are so chill, and it's like, one of the main things, I oh, I should have a screenshot up, it's one of the main thing. I did have the right color, anyway, it's one of the main things I like about this job is that the people are so freaking chill. Um, now I am not going to be chill and count because I'm a derp. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place that there. Oh, okay, never mind. Ignore me. That's not right. Damn it, I fell. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, shit. This thing's gonna be huge. That's what she said late last night. 
And by she, I mean your mom. And by your mom, I mean my right hand. And by my right hand, I, I, I actually do mean my right hand. Anyways, uh, has this episode gotten awkward? Um, I went from talking to my job about me masturbating. Lovely. I, I, I am, I am making YouTube gold right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about some things about my job. And I'm going to talk about some things that happened outside of my job, but it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, what do I do in this situation? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So many blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this should be good. So anyways, so first off, um, when I was coming home one day from work, um, I usually come home like really early in the morning from work, but at least one thing I like is that the bus I usually take is not packed, but one day when I was on the bus, um, a guy, he was unfortunately having a seizure at the bus stop. And I, I was already on the bus, um, but like the bus driver stopped, um, went to check on the guy, but like, it's one of those situations where it's like, I should do something because I am pretty much trained in first aid and stuff but it's like what are situations where you like freeze and you, you don't know what to do in that situation like I, I remember when I took first aid uh, to get my security guard license uh, it's required but when I took it like they talked about what to do when somebody's having a seizure but it's like I froze when the guy had a seizure in my head. I, I was sitting at the back of the bus, and I was like, "I should go help." I I I, I know this stuff. This is what I trained for, but it's like I I can't do this. Somebody's life is in my hands, and I can't do this. And it made me start thinking about like. What if one of my f really good friends was in that situation? Or what if a family member was in that situation? Would I be able to, like, um, compose myself? Is that the right word I want to use? Would I be able to um, do what needs to be done and, like, help my friend in that situation? Or would I freeze as well? Um, yeah, it was a scary situation, and I hope that guy got the help he needed, because another bus came, and I took that other bus because I was completely tired as well. But during that whole bus ride, in the back of my mind, I was like, I should have done something. I, I should have have at least stayed until an ambulance came. Granted, there were people there. So, uh, the guy wasn't alone. Plus, the uh, bus driver of the bus I was on, he was there. He basically put in the call for the ambulance. Um, so, this guy was in good hands. But, it, it was a it was a scary situation um, and it's like a weird situation it's like who wakes up in the morning and 
expects to have like a seizure at the bus stop. It must have been like a really, really scary situation for him. And, and the guy, he he basically wanted to like get up and oh, what happened? I'm like, I, I like tune into the game, but the inning just ended. Jay's a winning, by the way. So anyways, yeah, the guy got up and he wanted to like... Get on the bus. But it was like, no, you should... You just had a stroke. You should wait for this ambulance to come. In which one did, like, shortly after. I saw um, the ambulance as it arrived on scene. But yeah, it, it was... It was it was a freaky situation. Um, anyways, let's talk on a lighter note. And let's talk about stories at work. Um, so... The other day, um, this was, I have three stories, actually. Um, so, get ready for stories, stories from the work, stories from the workplace at night. Welcome to the theme song of Epic Proportions. Um, so anyways, uh, this was actually before my shift started. All these incidents were before my shift started, so technically, it's stories with Joda before his shift starts. Uh, but still, they're they're pretty interesting. Of what happened. So one night, I'm walking into work, and this random person. He comes, he walks up to me. He's like, I'm from Montreal. And, and I'm thinking, oh, he's probably asking for, di di he's probably going to ask for directions. And he's like, yeah, I'm from Montreal. I have these two girls with me. And I was wondering if you had some cocaine. And I'm like, what? Why are you asking me for cocaine? So, so I tell him straight up, I, I don't do that shit. I, I only do meth blings. No, I, I don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Unless it's legal in your state, don't do drugs. Um, but yeah, random guy walks up to me, asks me for cocaine. That's story number one. Story number two, uh, both incidents happened at the World Cup of Hockey when that was the thing, the, when Team Canada won. Um, so, random guy, um, he basically stops me, stops me in the middle of the road, and for some reason, he starts dancing in the middle like right in front of me and it's like what the fuck did that really just happen when he like walked away it was like why how drunk are you sir how much did you have to drink can you not find a beautiful beautiful girl to do this in front of instead of me it, 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 it was weird feel like it should be more over and much more higher. I, I think it would do for now. This giant open sign. Um, but I should get on to the last story from work. Um, which is this other guy. He decided to... Um, basically climb up onto the roof of a taxi. The taxi driver 
probably didn't like it. So the taxi driver drove a little bit. The guy would have cracked his head if he didn't catch himself. But yeah, it was it was one of those situations where it's like, okay, taxi driver, you're in danger in somebody's life. Um, stupid idiot standing on top of the taxi. You're an idiot and should go home because you're drunk. But yeah. So those are my true stories from work. I feel like there should be more. Of a thing. But anyways. This shop is finally open. Finally. <sighs> the world of potato. Is finally open. We are gonna. Do these. Last. Do I not have any signs on me? I guess not. We're gonna make some signs. That's what we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, phone's going off. But yeah, finally, the shop has been a long time coming, but it's finally gonna be open. <sighs> it's good. I don't have enough sticks. I need to make some more sticks. That should be enough. I could have sworn I had signs already. But I guess not. I wonder, are my signs in my ender chest? If there are, then I just created a bunch of signs for no reason. No. This wood. This wood and hoe. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, that sign looks good. Eventually, I'll create a, well, I'm in the middle of the shop. Eventually, I'll create a potato Pixar art thing on top of the sign. I feel, I feel like this should be higher. I feel like it should be, like, right there on that top. You know what? We'll probably do that off camera, like, change it from there to up here. And I have the potato pixel art like right there. But for now, we're gonna leave that like that. It's open. Um, finally. Like, how long has this shop been made? Or how long have I planned out the shop? I don't know. But, anyways, this shop is known as the World Potato. So, uh, the world potato. Is that how you spell potato? Hopefully. Get all your potato goodness. From here. Hey. Uh, let's put that same sign over here. The world potato. Get all. Potato goodness Sorry, I'm I'm like watching this space Oh god No I, I'm like watching this I, I like tuned in in to the baseball game and Tuller Whiskey just twisted his ankle. Oh god. Oh that looks bad. <laughs> um sorry, your video has been interrupted by by sports ball. 
Oh, uh, hopefully. Oh, uh, it seems like tall whiskey's good. Maybe. No. I have no clue what's going on. I hope he's good. That's scary. Especially in a. Oh, stop showing it! Stop! Sh this is worse than WWE! When somebody actually gets injured in wrestling, they replay it. Oh, I don't. Oh, man. Hopefully he's good. Uh, welcome to your. I'm, I'm a big baseball fan. Have I mentioned that? I probably should. Oh, did I say hi? I did say hey. I thought I did. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big baseball fan. So yeah. Okay. Let's put the prices. Baked potato. One stack. <laughs> Equals one diamond. I want to fit this all in one line. Let me fit it. Oh, God dang it. Get the eagle. I can't get the D and diamond. God dang it. One stack equal one Diamond Potato One Stack Equal Equal One Diamond and special potato and potato pie equals pay. That's not gonna fit. Pay what you want. So yeah, we have four items. Um, we got baked potato that costs one diamond per stack. Special potato, pay what you want. Normal potato, one diamond, one stack. Uh, that's not right. And we got potato pie. Yes, that is actually potato pie. And those special and potato pie pay what you want. So anyways, um, I feel like the last part of this episode has gone really downhill. Um, I feel like this whole episode is downhill. I should get back to my game. I mean, not my game. Well, my game. But by game, I mean baseball. So anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed the world potato. It's finally been open. Look for the big giant purple, blue, purple, and black open sign. And you will find the world potato. Better than false potato shops in which I have to get revenge on for. I'm looking at you. I'm gonna get my revenge. Anyways, we're going to uh, end off this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel very derpy. People are laughing outside. That's scary. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Peace out, nerds. I forgot to mention, guys. I have hit 100 subs on YouTube. And... I, I think I'm going to do a 100 subscribers special Q&A face cam bullshit thing. So, uh, by the time this video... What the heck? Those eyes are weird. Um, 
So by the time this video goes up, there will be a post on the JFS Red Reddit um, where you can leave your questions. But again, you can leave your questions on this video. You could tweet your questions to me using the hashtag Joda100, I guess. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, questions are welcome. So, yeah, I'm for subscriber pre special soon. Thank you guys for helping me reach 100 subs. It really means a lot, guys. Anyways, peace out, nerds.